Beautiful Libras, how are you today? Welcome to your Life Path and Abundance reading. Let's get started. Spirit's messages are that you are going to experience a true burst of magic. So you have some sort of good luck coming in that you don't see that is going to really lift your spirits and lift your, you know, just lift your abundance on your path. You're being called into a period of transformation. Happy birthday, by the way. A birthday can be transformative in and of itself. But we see that you're advised to take small steps and ask for help. That, you know, following your intuition and being very patient right now will pay off for you in a big way. You're very clear audience this month. When I get whale song resonating, it speaks to the fact that this whale is in a sound bubble and is very aware of everything that's going around, everything that's beneath the surface. So it is really about paying attention to your intuition. There is someone in the environment around you that looks like they annoy you, they steal your happiness, they seem to try to aggravate you. This person looks like you're dealing with, you might be, it might be a personal relationship, but it could just as likely be a work relationship in which somebody wants to take the credit and that sort of energy is what's coming up here is somebody who is trying to step between you and the sunshine. So I don't think they're going to be successful from what I can see. But let's start at the beginning. When we look at you and how you are presenting yourself this month, Libra, you are the pre-empress and clarified by empress status. You are leveling up, my friends, leveling up to the highest level possible. For those of you who are not in a marriage or marriage type relationship, you are seriously considering it. You may receive a proposal this month. When I look at the person who loves you happily ever after, this person has taken their time. We have, you know, the the Knight of Pentacles, slow moving night, but very much moving into the arena of desiring this beautiful, happy relationship. Now, you may be already married to this person. You could be already engaged to this person, but you have a partner in life right now. I would say that you're probably single only because we see the Nine of Pentacles. It looks like for many of you, you are planning a marriage. When we look at your stability financially, it is great. Again, this is another card, Four of Wands, of financial stability. It's buying a home. It's owning a home. It's it's everything that you value in terms of your stability. So what we see is that you have a lot of courage and strength right now. If you want to strike out on something new, a new investment, a new job, it looks like it is very successful. There is a lot to celebrate, as we can see with the celebratory energy in your financial life. Now, when, it, when we look at the energy of loans and investments and you know where your inheritance could be we it looks as though and also a partner's money if you are married you may have a partner who's been out of work for a while when we get the five of coins the good news is is that also there may be an expenditure of a partner going back to school but it does indicate the eighth house of other people's money which is you know, loans that you get from a bank for a mortgage. It's your retirement fund. It can be a 401k, an investment, and inheritance. It doesn't look like an area right now that you can really count on if you were to get yourself into a pickle, which I do not see, okay? So what I'm really getting here also for your, there's somebody in your environment, and this is where I saw the thief coming in. You have done some miraculous work. You have done you have really been a leader in your business affairs, you know, in your local neighborhood, whatever it is that you do on a local basis or a basis in which you communicate effectively, you are not getting credit for it. And I feel as though there's somebody over here who's stuck trying to steal credit because we see in the ninth house somebody swooping in almost like a boss. Uh, who's there to say, hey, Libra, this is mine, hands off. And I get you feeling very dissatisfied by that energy. The Four of Cups is like, really? Really? 
So I would say that communication with Mercury retrograde is a little bit of a slippery slope. It looks as though this will be straightened out. The truth will come out, but it does look like this sort of problematic person that I see in this reading several places is a big thorn in your side. Now, of course, you are going through transformation, so you will rise above this person. They can't really beat you at anything. Um, look at this. This is great energy. We have your energy in terms of the home life that you have is that you're really ready to go somewhere else. You're ready to move. It looks like, you know, we've got two Eight of Cups here. We've got this energy in your day-to-day -day life that you may be going through a commute that you'd like to leave behind. There's something about working in an office or having to leave home that makes you unhappy. So I think many of you are in the energy because you have the Four of Cups twice also that you're not feeling very fulfilled in the present job or the credit that you get. You just don't feel like you're at a place of tremendous happiness, but you're getting there because remember, you are pre-empress going into empress in the month of October. So when we look at the energy of your romantic life, you feel as though you're being made, somebody is making an offer to you. It's a substantial offer. Somebody wants to live with you happily ever after. We have the Libra card. There you are in your reading, Libra. So it does speak to the fact that your private emotional love life has got a great uptick in energy, a lot of happiness, a lot of devotion, joyfulness, celebration. But when we look at the energy of what is hidden right now, we see that there is someone um, who is making you just want to walk away in the in the workplace once again somebody who lies and steals and cheats and talks to upper management and we get this eight of cups uh, energy which is just you know I'll go elsewhere I'm done with this I don't want to be this tired but we do get this theme from the Queen of Wands, which is the Aries Queen, which you are, you're on fire in terms of your, you know, what you bring to the table in work. And we just see this sort of energy that says that you are very likely to go through the transformation that spirit recognizes and is telling you that is before you. So I really see this as very positive. You're going to make some very dramatic changes, which bring you from pre-empress into empress status. You are doing a great job, Libra, because a lot of people are, you know, very annoying. You, you, This person who's annoying you, we've got four of cups, four of cups. We have, uh, we have uh, the seven of swords. We have the eight of cups. You know, we get this card of discontent here with the three of pentacles. Something about a project that you're working on looks like someone else is just really trying to take credit. Now, the good news is they can't do it. You know, the people or the powers that be will recognize you as being the one to have full credit for this. So I'm going to pop over to the love reading for you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope it helps you uh, sort of step through some tricky situations this month, you know, forewarned is forearmed, but you are winner, winner, you know, at the end of the day, you, you come out of this month as being an extraordinary winner, making extraordinary gains. Look at that with that Empress card. All right, Libra, be right back with your love reading. Libra, let's take a look and see what's at the bottom of the deck here for your overall energy. We have the Seven of Wands. Well, you're holding your position. You know, we saw that in the life path part of the reading. So we see that you're going through a transformation right now. I feel as though you're you're really switching up how you do business or your career. It looks like you want a lot more happiness, which is reasonable, of course. In the recent past, you and your beloved have been a bit bored. You know, it looks like I just think the world at large, we know what that really means, is that nobody's getting out to do anything and being housebound is a bit, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit ripe, right? It's like ripe fruit, you'd like to toss it. But we see this is a very sort of benign energy. You're, you're leveling up and you're moving into Empress mode. So we have the world card there. So you really haven't had as much time for your personal life as you'd like to have. 
you and your partner's significant other are in this wonderful energy of being very empowered. You're in a relationship that's very stable. You both feel very successful. And right now, you know, you're just not having a lot of like heart to heart conversations. It's more that you're spending your energy and your effort kind of talking about day to day uh, career things and you know just the energy that says that you probably have been together for a while. When we get how your partner really looks and views the relationship, they feel very much that the two of you need to be a bit more grounded. And we see this temperance energy. Your partner just wants to get along with you. They want to enjoy things with you. They would like to speak sweet nothings, almost like they're craving. Uh, and they view your life as very simple, very kind, very sweet, which is very fulfilling to them. They see you as a person they want to spend the rest of their life with. The Six of Cups energy, very strong Scorpio overtones. Um, it's, I want to live with you together. I want to grow old with you. I want to be loyal to you. I want to walk the dog with you. Let's get a slew of dogs. But your person really wants time with you. Look at this energy. When we clarify that energy, your person has a lot to say to you. They want to talk to you. It does look like the two of you have been almost in a, you know, it's like fatigued from the world at large. When we look at how your person feels in their heart space, they want, if you are not married to this person, your person definitely wants to, wants to have a long-term commitment. They want to make an offer to you at this time. The Five of Wands energy is them feeling conflicted about the right timing because then we see the Wheel of Fortune, which is all about timing. They don't feel like the timing is right presently. Your person feels also as though you may, the way they see the path forward is they're not really sure that there is a path forward. It looks like they're having a lot of angst about something. We're going to clarify that too. So let's see what your person is having all this angst about. What is this Ten of Swords about? When we saw the reading earlier for the life path, we did see that, you know, your person could have lost a job. Three of Cups. Okay. So they feel as though this is the never ending story is a wheel of fortune is presenting or preventing you uh, with times that are so tough and so sort of rock bottom in terms of just emotional celebration, happiness, and joy. What your person really wants is to get back to that time in your lives when you're at this three of cups instead of the four of cups. Look at this. Your person is also coming towards you with, I feel, a romantic gesture. I feel as though, again, this is a relationship that's been around the block. It's happy, it's stable, but, you know, it needs a little bit more liveliness to it. So why do we have, we have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles here. Why do we have this double energy? Six of Pentacles. Well, both of you are very giving to the relationship. That's a mutual energy that's hidden. Both of you are very supportive, very nurturing. These are very mothering cards. And so what I'm seeing here is that what Spirit is recommending that you kick up the passion. When you have time alone, and that's not always easy if you have children, but it speaks to the fact that Spirit is recommending that you, you know, your search for answers really lies in the two of you choosing each other again, really romancing each other, being very much more involved, you know, in a romantic relationship and not letting the day to day sort of take over. Now, when we get the Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords, I don't like that. That's for sure. So we have two queens here that are hidden. We have a Three of Swords and a Knight of Cups energy. So what is that about? The Ace of Wands. There is a situation here that is clearly causing some sort of problem at work. I feel as though work is coming into play as a third party here. Um, let's see if this is if this is another woman, quote unquote, another man, whatever. And two energies here. Is there any infidelity in this relationship? The nine of wands. I'm not seeing it. I'm just seeing that again. I think that there's a work situation that is breaking your heart, Libra. Um, 
But your person definitely wants to come in with this Wheel of Fortune and they want to help you get over this transformative time because remember, you know, Spirit was saying that you're going to need a little hand up right now. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Libra. Your love life looks like it's a little bit stagnant, but you're going to infuse it with some passion, with some fun. Your person is certainly coming in in their car, you know, to give you the red carpet treatment. So I see that as very positive. It does look like, you know, whatever's gone on in this workplace environment, that would be like a Fortune 500 company, most likely, or at least a big company in which ideas would really be worth a lot. So I see your person coming in with a romantic gesture for you, Libra, with that beautiful Ace of Wands, maybe some travel plans, maybe a getaway or a staycation. Anyway, take care, Libra. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.